I want to tell you a story. So, 10 years ago yesterday, I walked into a Starbucks right by my parents' house and Taylor was there. <laughs> now, I kind of knew Taylor because we did briefly date in high school, our senior year, but it was senior year and I broke up with him over text and left the country to go to the world championships and that was that. Um, so we knew each other but didn't know each other but this was about five years after we graduated and we hadn't talked really since. So we didn't really know each other but I saw him and I was walking out. He was waiting in line and I said hi and I gave him a hug. Best decision of my life. <laughs> so that one hug, I think he was quite thrown off and was a little confused, rightfully so. And he messaged me on Facebook. He says he couldn't remember my name, but he found me on Facebook and he messaged me. And we decided to meet up two days after that. So. I'm recording this on the 16th, April 16th. We ran into each other on the 15th. We planned to meet up on the 17th. So 10 years ago, tomorrow, we got coffee. And we sat there for like two hours probably. And then I remember I was in real estate clothes. Like I was in heels and like a nice shirt and after we got coffee, I think I had to go home and change into skating clothes because I had to go teach. And then after I taught, I went home and I ate dinner. And then I remember fighting this like battle within myself because I wanted to see him again. And I was like, come on, we just hung out this afternoon. Like that's ridiculous. Um, but he asked me to come over. He had some friends over. And he asked me to come over and I was like, I think I'm gonna do it. And I remember my dad asking me because I'd never like reacted like this to hanging out with someone. And my dad was with me cause he went to the skating rink with me. We both taught and then we had dinner and he was like, are you sure about this? Like maybe you should wait, like wait a few days <laughs> and then see him again. And I was like, no, I, I am sure about this. I want to see him again. And he was like, okay, I totally trust you. Like, that's fine. I just want to make sure you're not like in over your head. And I was like, yeah, okay, thank you. <laughs> um, and then literally we hung out every day since then. Now I was not a relationship person at all whatsoever. I swore that I would be the like fun aunt um, who was single dancing on tables forever. Like that was my, that was me. And I was not about to tie myself down whoa, to someone <laughs> as I almost fall. I wasn't about to tie myself down to someone else and like risk my dreams and my wants and all that. Like it was not, not my goal at all. And even when Taylor and I dated, like we knew it was for real. We knew we were gonna be together forever, but we didn't really want to get married. We didn't feel that we needed that. We were like, no, we'll just like be together forever. If and when we make it 10 years, which is this year, we will have like a big party and celebrate our relationship, but we don't need to like sign a marriage license and all that. We don't need that. And then about two years after we got together, we were in Paris. I was performing with Katy Perry and Taylor came along and we spent a week in Paris together and he proposed to me in Paris. So we did end up getting married, all of that. But 
because it's 10 years ago and that's such like a milestone to me in my brain, especially because we had said like, oh, we're not going to get married, but in 10 years we'll have like a party and celebrate it. It's just brought back so many like emotions and feelings. And literally like yesterday when we woke up, I was like, I am so glad I hugged you <laughs> because literally if I had just walked out like normal, like normally I would maybe say hi to him, maybe give him like a little smile, but leave, not say anything, not do anything. And that day, for some reason, I was like, I really should say hi to him. I should, you know, like make contact with him. What came over me? Why? I don't know. <laughs> But it's like those little tiny moments that change the trajectory of your life, which is wild to me. Like there are so many things that we do in daily life that it's like, we could go this way or we could go this way. Well, let's find out. Like I am one of those people that overthinks a lot and like worries about every little detail. And it's like, I spend so much time worrying about this detail and I don't even make the move. Like I don't take road A or road B. I just stay stagnant because I'm overthinking things and worrying about things. And it's like that day I didn't do that. That day I got my coffee and I said, yep, this is it. <laughs> and it was it. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I came out here to skate and I was thinking and I was like, ah, I want to tell that little story. So we talk about this stuff on the podcast a lot, like because I like to have his take and my take. Um, but for this, I, t I was like, hey, I'm going to record a video. It's going to be about us, but it's just going to be me. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening. Best decision I ever made.